Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here. Welcome to episode 5 of my Let's Play of Sky Factory. Alright, so as you can see I've done uh, quite a bit of stuff. I've basically replaced all the floors with stone slabs. Uh, I moved my tree farm over here. It was growing uh, the infested oak leaves so I could get some more string. Uh, and I extended out this way a bit in preparation for this episode. I've got five crucibles, I've got my cobblestone generator pumping into three barrels. Uh, I probably didn't need three barrels, but I thought, you know, why not? Uh, yeah, everything's pretty much the same. I managed to get a bunch of ores. Uh, this took me about half an hour, I reckon, to an hour to get all these ores. It's not much. But I did manage to get a spoils bag, and I wanted to save that for the stream. So, well not the stream, but the video. So let's have a look. Got some force shards, a bucket of force, which is nice, never wart, and some bones, nice. They will all come in very handy, I am sure. So, I also figured out how to actually get, um, the essence seeds, you know. It was a pretty simple solution. Uh, well, I haven't actually got them yet, but it's a pretty simple thing to think of. Uh, you just bone meal grass, and then you get, uh, you destroy the tall grass and hope to get essence seeds, so... Yeah, that was probably a, a little bit obvious, and I just completely didn't think of it. So let me make some more dirt. Because we're going to need to build a bit. Uh, what I am going to do is, I reckon, build off probably this way, and get a platform set up for uh, getting animals. Because we would like to spawn animals at some point, and we may as well do it now. Uh, just got to figure out where to build off. I reckon... Maybe past this tree farm. We'll go and uh, build a little platform. So what we're going to need is a ton of dirt. And we're also going to need these grass seeds uh, in order to actually get the grass. Otherwise animals and tall grass won't spawn. And you know, that's what we're aiming for. Because once we get essence seeds, we can actually get started with growing crops. We can even grow dirt, so that'll be a good thing. We don't have to worry about doing this anymore. We just grow dirt. Pretty simple. Alright, so let's start building a path off this way. I'll probably get rid of this middle tree. Um, yeah, it's alright. I can replace that later. Uh, change the torches around there. So if we build off a fair distance, uh, so that the animals will spawn, I'm thinking quite a fair distance away. I probably will put fences around it this time just because of animals. I don't know about them walking through the spaces in slabs, so I may as well do fences. So I reckon that's far enough away. Uh, I'm not going to be able to put a thing of dirt there. Let's do it that way. Alright, so let's build... a little bit of a... platform. And get rid of that. Let me do this. Alright, uh, give me a few minutes. I'll get a ton of dirt uh, and finish this platform and come back. Alright, uh, not done yet. I need some more dirt, but I made a pretty big mistake. Uh, I actually have no normal saplings left. Um, I'm guessing I must have accidentally used them all. Uh, so, <laughs> that's not good at all. Uh, I have this birch seed. I don't know if that acts like a sapling or not. Uh, so, let's have a look. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, it's a rare chance I might get an oak sapling back, but yeah, we're out of oak trees now. So that's a bit of a pain. Uh, I could use amaranth as well. May as well plant that down. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a bit of uh, dirt still to get, but yeah, I made a boo-boo and used up all my oak trees, so not good at all. Oh well. Uh, so, I'll be back once I have all the dirt. 
All right, so I now finally have all the dirt about uh, 20, 25 minutes later. So yeah, that took a while. But uh, we got there. We now have this lovely, I think it's a 9x9 nine nine, uh, little farm area. Uh, but you may be asking, how do we get seed? Uh, how do we get grass? Well, that's where the grass seeds come in handy. And I forgot to bring my watering bucket. As far as I know, that helps speed up the process. So if we grab the watering can... Okay, man. God, that's such a long way over here. Uh, all we have to do is drop one of these grass seeds. No, drop one. What do we actually have to right... Ah, oh, no, we right click. And then we should just use the watering can to help spread the grass. That way we only have to use one seed. Nice. So this shouldn't take very long to do this. And then we can get started with getting, hopefully, some essence seeds. In order to start actually producing uh, good stuff from farms rather than just food. Which isn't much help. Alright. Yeah, man. Almost done. And also, hopefully, some animals will spawn over here. I sure hope this is set up correctly to actually do that. I guess we'll find out. And there we go. Ooh. Why did that grow a flower? Don't know why that grew a flower. But let's grab some bone meal and break this tall grass and hopefully we get uh, something that we're after. I don't know how common they actually are. Tomato, blackberry seeds, nah. Not particularly good for us. Still nothing. But yeah, I mean, I was stuck on actually how to get essence seeds for quite a while. I could not figure it out. I was on uh, someone's stream on Twitch, and uh, lo and behold, the answer was right there. You know, it wasn't even something that I thought about. Alright, I think that was... Uh, cucumber, chili... Not useful. Essence seeds. There we go. Alright, so that's what we're after. We can plant that down and that gives us essence, which we use to get... Ooh, cotton seeds. Could be useful as well, actually. Uh, let me just do one more bone meal's worth. See if I can get more than just one. That would be nice, but... Uh, not relying on it. Getting sweet corn seeds, but uh, I don't think we're going to have much luck getting any more essence seeds. Yeah, just the one it looks like. Alright, so let's shut that off just in case animals do decide to spawn. And let's head over to the farm where we can. Plant this down and get started. I'm going to get rid of these potatoes. And yeah, I took the dirt around here to basically fill in that area over there. So I've got to fill this back in now. Although I've got to get the uh, dirt first. So I'm pretty sure we can water this. Yeah, it looks like it's working. So when we grow this up, when it eventually gets there, Come on. But eventually this whole farm will be replaced with uh, magical crops. We break it. And we get essence seeds back. I think there's a small chance of getting uh, another one. But it's very small. We also got essence dust and nature essence. We can use this nature essence to make mossy cobblestone, lily pads, vines... Uh, mycelium, but we need mushrooms for that. 
And then we use the essence dust. That's the stuff we're after to make weak essence. Which is used to create coal seeds, dye seeds, water, fire, and earth seeds, which we're probably going to get first. But yeah, I mean, this is the basic starting point for magic crops. Is to get a ton of this essence dust, turn into essence, and make crops. So that is going to be the goal, is to get a ton of that done. Uh, now I've got all this crap. Oh, well, I'm going to just chuck it out the void. I don't really want these seeds. They're not really any use to me. I'll keep the normal seeds. I'll keep the flowers. Go away, potatoes. All right. Nah, they still don't fit. Uh, that can come over into the other chest, actually. That's kind of semi-rare. Uh... Well, actually, I'm going to take this stuff out because I would like to start automating uh, some stuff. Uh, what else can I throw away? Gunpowder shouldn't be in there. It should be over here. Alright, so the first thing that I want to automate is over here. That's why I have five crucibles. I want to automate making lava. So we can quite easily do that if we build a step there. put a torch there uh, and if we take this right over here and we chuck transfer pipes no like this ah, for Christ's sake we can bring that over here I'm gonna break that we do that and what that's gonna do is fill these with cobblestone uh, we should see that shortly. Sorry for the jumping, it's the only way you can see. Yeah, it's slowly, it's going to fill these with cobble and basically give us lava. And let me have a look. Transfer node. Transfer node liquid. We should be able to use this uh, to suck out the lava and put it in something like uh, a tank. But there is one thing I want to figure out first. And that is if I can use water to make uh, obsidian. Because I need obsidian to make tanks. Uh, the open blocks variety. So we're going to need it. Uh, so I think there's some sort of barrel you can make, which is, yeah, stone barrel. Should be be pretty simple. There we go, stone barrel. I'm going to make some more slabs while I'm here, just so I don't run out. So if I put this down let's just put it there for now. If I grab some water in there, chuck lava. Mm, no. What if I get rid of this water, let's say put it in there. If I put the lava in there first, can I then put water in? Alright, uh, let me try this then. If I do that, is that going to do... Ooh. There we go, that's how we get lava. Nice. Uh, okay, I can pick it up. God, that made a mess. I'm surprised I didn't knock those torches off. So yeah, all you have to do is have lava in a barrel and have a water source block flowing on top and that seems to generate uh, obsidian. Nice. So now that I know that, uh, it's going to be pretty... Oh, I'm out of a pickaxe. It's going to be pretty easy to automate that. Because that's what I want to do, is to start automating things so that there's less clicky-clicky and, you know, more just doing it. Uh, like last episode, I said that I wanted to make an autonomous activator. 
but we needed to wait for some stuff, which we should have now, uh, besides, of course, the uh, glass, which we do not have for some reason. That's all right. Uh, cobblestone, we just need to smash it up. So if I grab my hammer, smash this into sand and then smelt it up. And gravel. Smack that into sand to get our glass. Hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, is there any... Uh, there's some in there. Good. Alright, so what this will do is... Well, I don't exactly know what it's going to do. I've never actually used one before, but uh, it's apparently used to simulate right-clicking, which is what we do with the lovely old hammer here. So. I'm hoping it can be used to basically automate the whole process of clicking things. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, why can't I make that iron? Oh, because it doesn't take out of here. That's fine. So pneumatic servo, piston, we're going to need three wood. One, two, three. Three wood, four stone, iron, and redstone. There's a piston. With that, uh, a chest. Can quickly make a chest. And two pieces of tin. Now we should be able to make an autonomous activator. I don't know if these need to be powered. I would assume so but I'm not a hundred percent sure so let's put it down doesn't look like it does so I can put the hammer in there can I put that there left click Ooh. and it turns into gravel Ooh, yeah then we can probably just feed this thing directly Hold on. Uh, do, do, do. I'm going to have to put a ton of hammers in here. Uh, I'll probably just use stone hammers. But my question is, can I feed into this thing? Please don't lose it. Okay, good. So my question is, can I feed cobblestone directly in? No. So if that doesn't work, I may have to figure out some way to actually do it. Some sort of block placer or something. No, don't do that. Uh, ow! Fucking thing hit me. Don't know why I expected it not to. Uh, let me see if I can maybe use this transfer node. I'm not too familiar with how all these things work. Go away. No, that doesn't seem to actually work. I'm going to have to find something to actually place the cobblestone down on the floor. I'm not sure how I would actually do that. Is there like a block placer or something? Block placer. Uh, dispensers. Uh, we need rubber though. We need raw plastic. Which is rubber. Hmm. About the open blocks one. Aha! 
Open Blocks has a lovely little block placer. Uh, so we're going to need... Uh, might as well grab... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Grab a ton of that. Make a piston. Oh, hopefully I don't run out of redstone. Yeah, I think this will be running out of redstone. Because uh, I... Oh no, I need one. I don't even know if this will work. But uh, it's worth a shot. So, block placer. Uh, no, I think that's wrong. Let me try to orient this. So it's facing like that. I'm going to take that out and just... Ow, okay, it still punches me. Alright, right click, I don't care, that doesn't actually hurt. Alright, is that facing down now? I'm not 100% sure. Let's put, say, cobblestone in here. If I break that... I'm assuming it needs a redstone signal of some sort. So let's try popping a lever on it. Okay, so that does work, but it's uh, the wrong way around. And needs a redstone signal. Um, hmm, that could be interesting trying to figure that out. Although I suppose we could just put a uh, redstone clock on it. Gonna need more redstone for that though. Uh, yeah, I think having that facing down, placing blocks, that there, a vacuum hopper here sucking up all the gravel, and sending it into a barrel. I think that's the way to go. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to need to get some redstone. So, uh, before the next episode, I will collect some redstone and come back. And we will completely automate turning cobblestone into gravel, gravel into sand, sand into dust. So we have a barrel full of each. Uh, that'll be nice. I may actually void these and have uh, cobblestone, gravel, sand, dust one in each. If I can figure out how to do that, uh, I may have to build a lower floor. Not sure yet, but I'll figure that out in between episodes and we'll come back next time and hopefully completely automate everything. So yeah, that should be good. All right, uh, no animals. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.